Hey everybody, we're back. Uh, uh, we're going to get started on this stash here again. Uh, I'm going to put this the finished one over here. Now off camera I went in and I, I cleaned him up a little bit. Uh, put in the vest. Uh, just kind of cleaned around the, the boots and the pant legs and uh, the hat. And uh, well, you can see what I did on cleaning it up. But today we're going to work on the the face area, and I'm going to start in here with a quarter inch uh, uh, number of nine, and I'm going to work this little nostril area. Well, let me turn it around here. Put these wings and the nose in. And I'll turn it this way. Can you see that all right, Peyton? Yep. All right. Now, I've got that where the wing of the nose is going to be. Now I'm going to go in kind of raise this area up right in here. Where his breathing hole will be there. Turn it around. What you want to do, you want to kind of arch that up where the wing of the nose is going to be. But now I am going to draw in a little line here once I get this in because we're going to make a number 11 cut right in here. I'm going to take my number 11 gouge and work in there where I put that line. Are you staying in focus there, Peyton? We're trying yep. to keep these things focused as can be. Sometimes it's hard. Now, what I want to do, I'm going to make some, take out some wood right here in the back side of this nose. So I'm going to take a shallow number five gouge and come in here and kind of make me a stop cut there and cut back and that develops the wing of my nose let me take that little little chip out right in here but what I've done is develop a shadow line in there now I'm going to take this gouge again and turn it around and you want to kind of go in at an angle and you just kind of cut back against that mm -hmm. it's supposed to pop out there we go but what I've done is develop some shadow lines so I'm going to come in here and shave this down a little bit kind of around the back end of that nose. Now I am going to put another, this will be my shadow line I'm going to cut in. But before I do that, I'm going to go in with a number uh, nine and I'm going to start opening up these eye sockets in here. I drew a little line here to give you an idea how it arches over. Can you see that all right there, Peyton? Yep. All right. And you want to go in these corners right in here and really put some depth in there to where you can see the bridge of that nose. I'm going to arch that just a little bit more. Now I've got that one done. 
I'm going to turn, come over here and I'm going to start working on this side here. I'm going to turn it over and work in this inside corner and making my eye sockets. Now, and now what I'm need I'm going to do is actually put the actual eyes in. I'm going to get this where I want it to be. Well, let me see. I've got some little mark I need to get off right there. Okay, now I'm going to go in right here on this inside corner and make me a reference dot there and one right here and then one right here on the outside corner and one about right there. Then we're going to join these lines together. Can you see that all right? No yep. camera? All right. Now I'm going to draw me an arch half moon shape above here. Like that. Now I want to show the eyes. That's right, so where we're headed. That looks about right, the opening. Now what I'm going to do is actually go in and start these doing these eyes. Uh, first of all I go in and make some stop cuts in here and take a little wedge out on this inside corner and I'm going to turn it around and do it the same here on this inside corner and what I did I developed two little shadow areas right in there now I'm going to go here in the outside corner and cut me in some little chip cuts. There's one on that outside corner and we'll turn around and go on this side and make me a little chip cut right in there. Now, if you look here, 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 and here, you have those little triangle chip cuts. And that, add, that gives you shadow. Now what we want to do is, these lines I drew in, we're going to come in, and I'm going to stop cut these lines. Make a good stop cut. Alright, and then I'm going to take my knife blade, cut back against my stop cuts to develop the actual eyeball. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same over here where I made my stop cuts. Are we staying in focus on this painting pretty much? Yep. Okay. And in in these eyes areas, you don't they don't have to be perfectly round, but you you want to get them to where you can see the shadow areas. Now, on this guy here. He's looking over this way, you see, it, and I'm going to, uh, usually I let him look over this way, but I, I changed this one up, old stash, he's changed up, 
and he's looking over to this side. And I always like to draw in my my eyes just to have so he's staring back at me. Now that looking pretty good there. Now what I want to do is I want to come up above here and make me a little canal a little bit wider to where my eyelids are going to be. And I'm doing this with a quarter inch gouge. If you see right in there, I made a little canal. I'll draw a pencil mark in here to show you where I'm going to take in a number 11 and make me a soft eyelid. Okay, here's the number 11. Come in here that way. And you take out that little line you drew and that develops your soft eyelid. Do the same on this side. Can you see that alright Peyton? Yep. Alright. Turn it around. Now I've got that in. I'm going to go ahead and I'm st still going to go in there with and draw me in a line because I'm going to take a V tool and cut uh, where I drew that line. I take a quarter inch V and just kind of just make it a little sharper eyelid. Just so you can see it a little better. And I'm going to go ahead and do this side. Turn it around. Alright, there's that eye. Now what we've got to do, let me get this little chip out here, it's bothering me. Okay, we're going to draw some bags under these eyes. Well, actually, this is a shallower uh, uh, bag under this guy's eye. I get, sometimes I get going too, too quick. There now. now what I want to do is come in here and oh, make me a little stop cut right here and then turn it around and do me a little stop cut right in there now on this guy he's got little smaller bags under his eyes so I'm going to come in about like that. He's not as old as some of them. I really exaggerate a lot of my bags under my eyes. Alright, I come in and make a number 11. Make that small bag. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it this way cut the bag on this side now when I get that bag in I'm gonna I'm gonna come in here like a deep stop cut here here and take me out a little chip cut right in that corner and that kind of tucks that bag up under that lid. And I'll do it over here. What are we doing on 
time there, Peyton. Got about two minutes. Two minutes. Yep. All right, and then I'm going to go back over that with a little V. Just to deepen that bag. I'll do it over here. And now I'm going to put some nostril holes right in here so he'll be breathing back at you with a little number nine. And on the next video, I'm going to go ahead and put in some hair on one side. And then uh, what we'll do is uh, uh, I'll, I'll work on this hand for you, but... I'll get hair laid in on this side and then we'll do this side. Uh, but uh, what I want to do right here, if we got a little bit of time, is I'm going to make these little shadow marks right in here where I drew that little line and give me some shadow right in there. Then I'm going to turn it this way. And cut there like that. And that developed some shadow in there. Now I'll go in kind of clean it, clean him up a little bit, get his eyebrows in, and we'll go from there. And uh, he's starting to look this way. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, everybody out there, uh, have a good time carving. And listen, if you haven't, uh, subscribe to my channel hit subscribe i'm gonna keep the videos coming at you so until next time we'll see you later we'll see you later bye